Well, tombstone is about 98% done. I've added some bushes back to the back sides of it. So, uh, hides the character back behind it. So, I think I still need to brighten up the pumpkin light a little bit. Because the candles kind of outshine it. But, here we go. Test it out. Swings out pretty good. Just do it one more time. There we go. Happy Halloween. Well, I want to show you the underneath of this thing. Uh, here you'll see I got homemade pulley built up. This is what makes it turn back and forth. And so I have a cylinder here connected up to this solenoid and comes down to the inner parts of that small portion of the pulley so as this pulls up this way it spins the pulley which puts tension on the spring the spring winds up around this thing or not the spring but the cable does uh, so that's how I get the rotation so this cylinder pulls the cable spins the pulley uh, this cylinder here operates the uh, um, mechanism for the scissor hinge prop. So I'll go ahead and flip this over. Show you some of these workings. So in order to get the spin, let's see, do I have one over here? I'll just show you this. This is a lawnmower deck spindle. This is a brand new one. This here costs about $15. But at the time I didn't have that, so I just took this spindle off an of existing deck, lawnmower deck, uh, riding lawnmower. And uh, so bolted them to the plywood. I ran a 5 8 rod down to the center of it. Uh, nut on this side of it to keep it from sliding down. And the pulleys itself is keeping it from coming up. So I'm going to put square stock over top of the uh, 5 8 rod. So you can kind of see it there. It actually goes up to probably about that tall uh, up inside there. Try to make it as, as long as I possibly could. Uh, on this particular scissor hinge uh, it's got a lot of weight to it and so I had to use two cylinders on it uh, to get it the quick enough push out on it so uh, scissor hinge itself it's kind of a basics uh, just had to modify it a little bit so it actually will uh, point upwards so I just had to Instead of making all the rods even, I wound up uh, cutting one shorter so that way it actually will kick it upwards uh, when it goes. Uh, this thing here has got uh, one, two, three, probably about four sections of scissors in it. Uh, they're about 19 inches long, roughly. So, hopefully, that answers anybody's questions. And of course, this whole apparatus down here, all these angles and stuff. I mean, this thing's gone through so many different type of designs since the very beginning. And instead of cutting things off, I just wound up using it to my advantage. So the tombstone itself has a slot cut out in the bottom of it. And so it can actually slide right up in there. And then let's 
be bolted up top here so that way it spins with everything else and then my oh let me get this off and then of course the plants themselves uh, they will fit down on top of those nuts so I'll show you that real quick so I mean here's fake tree screwed onto a piece of PVC pipe so that will actually fit down on top of those bolts like that and then it will be attached to this bracket here uh, so everything stays fairly well put so I hope that helps out and anybody wants to make something spin around yeah. A little bit of thinking with what I just had lying around at the time. So uh, I'm sure there's probably a better way of doing things, but just with what I had. So this prop, you know, started out as one design and went through about three different designs. Uh, the inspiration came from uh, Widowmaker, uh, Greg Scholl, on his uh, Grieving Mourner prop, uh, Grieving Wid Widow. So just went from one turn to another turn and into my turn so uh, there we go uh, scissor hinge that spins around on a base uh, but we'll have the tombstone on the back side of it so any more questions just give me a shout out